Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Health Beat Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. I'm Dr. Monica Sweeney. AIDS is a very serious problem here in Brooklyn. And one reason it's such a threat is that far too many people are unaware that they may in fact be HIV positive. The city is trying hard to convince people to get tested. And Health Beat's Melissa Rose Cooper brings us a story of one woman who working with the Department of Health is at the forefront of the battle. Dee Bailey is no stranger to the fights against HIV and AIDS. So when she was asked to be a part of the Brooklyn Nose HIV AIDS testing campaign, she didn't hesitate. It's not complex, it's very simple. We believe that the more people who understand their status, the further we will go in trying to get people to understand that HIV is 100% preventable. Brooklyn Nose is the borough's latest effort to make residents aware of their HIV status. According to the New York City Department of Health, Brooklyn is the epicenter for the disease in the United States. Approximately 26,000 people in Brooklyn are infected. The majority of those are people of color. In poorer neighborhoods, the virus seemed to, particularly in our zip codes here in central Brooklyn, the virus seems to be at a higher rate. Bailey served as executive director of New York City operations for the National Black Leadership Commission on AIDS, where she coordinated AIDS awareness activities in local communities. This experience made her an ideal candidate for the Brooklyn Nose Planning Committee. What uh, Brooklyn Nose is trying to do, testing a large number of people, putting a dent in this epidemic, helping people understand what their status is. To raise her fight against this disease to another level, she founded Watchful Eye. Watchful Eye is an initiative um, that has started to encourage people to get tested. Um, the way we go about it is involving every segment of our community, every person in our community, whether they're a leadership or whether they're a student, and giving people ways to get out, do the outreach, and educate them on how to reach the community in terms of encouraging people to get tested. A native of Brooklyn, Bailey chose to open the center in Bed-Stuy because she knew firsthand the importance of HIV and AIDS awareness in that community. Right here, you see me talking to Congressman Towns because... She says up to that point, there were no other groups in Brooklyn devoted to making AIDS awareness a priority. People were doing testing, but to concentrate, to make sure that we coordinated uh, the efforts of our faith-based institutions, our community-based institutions, specifically to work on Brooklyn, that wasn't being done. Watchful Eye is one of 52 organizations asked to participate in Brooklyn Knows. Each group has its own method of getting the message out. Watchful Eye spreads awareness through ministry. I understood that oftentimes people who head organizations, they go to church. Lawyers go to church, elected officials go to church. So if we use the church as our vehicle to get this message out, we get a chance to garner the trust of other leaders. We get a chance to get the community itself involved. I believe that the pastor is the most respected member of the community. Reverend Dr. Robert M. Waterman of Antioch Baptist Church strives to keep this belief true. He has been working with Watchful Eye since its inception. HIV AIDS is relevant not just the community, but also to the church body. So, and there's a connection between church and uh, community, and um, what affects the community actually affects the church. He says the key to getting through to people about the dangers of this disease is to be direct and involved. I'm real with it. Um, basically, I hit the streets. And the only way that you can actually get involved is that you have to come out of the four walls, and, um, and you have to really go into the streets. Sharani Perry has been hitting the streets as a community activist since 1981, when even mentioning AIDS was taboo. Today, awareness of the disease has come a long way. But now we're making people more aware. I mean, it's a constant reminder when you walk down Fulton Street in front of Restoration to see the big red ribbon hanging there. There's a constant reminder about HIV and AIDS. And now people are not as afraid as they were before to get tested and to know their status. But there is still much more work to do. Nobody has a flashing light that says, hi, I'm HIV positive. Do you still want to go out with me? 
you don't know. They walk around, they look like you and me. As Brooklyn Knows continues this initiative throughout the borough to get Brooklynites tested, Bailey Val's watchful eye will be right there to help. The Brooklyn Knows campaign gives us even a larger and greater opportunity to extend ourselves through the publicity, through the promotions, through the public service announcements, all of which can be very costly to an individual agency. But by all of us working together, we believe that there's a message here that Brooklyn is working together and Brooklyn does know. To get help or to learn more information about HIV and AIDS in Brooklyn, all it takes is walking through the front door. For HealthBeat Brooklyn, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.